So back on the workbench is our Tamiya Porsche 959. Uh, we unboxed this guy after it was sitting in my parents' basement for about the last 20 years, and it looks to be in pretty good condition. In our last video, I'll, I'll put a link right there, we uh, took you through the car and what was wrong with it, and we discovered that a couple of the pieces in the rear, these rear carriers were broken. You can see this guy right here is broken. The screw is sticking out. So after much internet searching, I was able to track down those parts in Canada, had them shipped here, and today we are going to take this car apart and replace our broken parts with vintage uh, parts from the 80s to hopefully get this car up and running. I know that the shocks are missing oil, the diffs probably need to be lubed, so I wanna take the entire car apart, really go through it, clean it up, and do a bit of a resto mod, if you will. I'm not really um, restoring it to factory condition because it was never factory condition from the day we got it. We had put in, you know, an electronic speed control and things like that, so I'm not trying to create an old school mechanical speed control version of this, but I want to get it back to what it was when it was newly built in the 80s. I think also, since we want to bash this guy outside, we'll swap out the slicks for the rally tires uh, that we have. I know that I have a bunch of extra parts sitting in the box over there, so hopefully I'll have everything I need. I mean, after the once over, it doesn't look like anything else is really broken, but we won't know until we get into it. So why don't we tear down this car and see what we're dealing with? got the car completely apart and surprisingly the only piece that appears to have been broken is the one that we identified is broken you can see there so luckily our new old stock from Canada is all we're gonna need to put this back together couple things to notice about old school kits there are a lot a lot of Eclipse holding this together a lot of captured um, nuts in the machine screws. You don't get that as much anymore. So the plastic parts have pockets for the nuts to go in. Um, it's a little dirty, but the grease was still there. The diffs were not dried out. We definitely lost our shock oil over the years, but overall, all of our pieces seem to be there. There were no ball bearings in the wheels, so that was a bit surprising. I guess we didn't put ball bearings in the wheels back in the day. These are plastic bushings, as you can see. So that's all we had there. Um, but everything is pretty much none the worse for wear. The motor, a little dirty, but you know, it seems to be okay. Um, the wires aren't um, desodded or anything. You've got these pieces to fit it in. We're gonna we're gonna take it all, we're gonna clean it up. We downloaded a copy of the manual, so we'll make sure we put it back together. We're gonna put some new grease in the diffs and 
clean up the parts as best as we can, but overall it looks like this car is going to go back together uh, without too much fuss and without the need to go find other parts. Everything seems to be here. One thing I will say is our Tamiya ratcheting screwdriver was amazing. Uh, we did a full review of this screwdriver and it was perfect for this kit with all of the Phillips head screws that hold it together. I'll put a link up top to that, uh, to that review of this screwdriver. I know it's a little pricey, but this screwdriver is well worth the investment. It fits in your hand great. It really lets you get in there. Um, I guess all we have left to do now at this point is clean everything up replace the one broken part and fill the shocks with oil, put some grease in the diffs, and reassemble. So let's get to it. So it works. The Porsche 959 is up and running. It sounds a little funky. I gotta check and make sure the gear mesh and everything is good. This battery is not fully charged, so it's definitely not working, but as you just saw, it, it works. Um, the only broken part was that one little part. As you can see, steering is working appropriately. The wheels all turn, four wheel drive, they go back. I've got some uh, issues, it looks like, with the uh, with the steering. I gotta adjust that, we'll adjust some of the steering. It looks like, yeah, it is definitely not centered, so we'll have to, we'll have to fix that. The wheels don't look straight. But, as you can see, all four wheels are turning. So, we are now going to take this guy. Got to clean it up. I'll probably mount the uh, mount the receiver, maybe like right there. I removed the big antenna, the metal antenna that it had, because there's just no reason to keep that um, when you've got this small little thing that was there for the old wire. I got to clean up the wires, do all that, and then I think in our next video we are going to race this thing. So. 
I'm really excited. I mean, this is like a 25, 30 year old car, maybe, maybe longer. Maybe it was purchased in 86. I honestly don't remember, but it's working. The reversible speed control, the rooster still up and running, you know, bound it to a new radio. So we're not using the old stick radio, but everything went back together. The only broken part was that one little carrier that we replaced with the part that we found on eBay. Everything else was in great shape, cleaned it up, greased up all the diffs, put new oil in the shocks. They're working again. You know, everything that I could think of seems to be, seems to be working like pretty much like new. Not too bad for a, you know, 40 something year old car. So the next thing we're gonna do is clean it all up, charge up the battery and take it outside and race it. So as always, if you like the content that we're making, please subscribe to our channel, trying to put out videos every Tuesday. But if you subscribe, it will convince my wife that people actually do watch these videos and like what I'm doing, and she'll keep letting me spend money to keep working on these cars. Thanks for watching, and make sure you check out the next video where we're gonna have this guy all cleaned up and we're gonna be racing him. Bye-bye.